Hi, so in this, uh, this video we're going to deal with simultaneous linear equations and word problems. Um, this particular problem uh, involves a rectangle and the idea really is that you generate or create a couple of simultaneous equations that you can then solve in order to answer the question. Um, I've written the question underneath the uh, description box on YouTube or if you visit mathsrap.co.uk that will also give you quite a lot of information and also some worksheets to download to have a go at yourself. Also, if you wanted to have a look at the other videos in the series that deal with simultaneous linear equations, that might not be a bad idea, so at least it'll give you some idea of how we can then tackle these sorts of problems. This particular problem deals with a rectangle. Um, so the rectangle itself is like that. And the two pieces of information that we're given about the rectangle is that the perimeter equals 42 metres. And we're also given a little bit of information that says the difference between the length and the width is 6 metres. So if I just write up there, the difference between length and width equals 6 metres. And actually, those are the only two pieces of information that we're being given. But it will allow us then to create uh, two simultaneous equations and solve for those simultaneous equations. So the first thing that we need to look at is um, we have a rectangle. And one of the properties of a rectangle is that this dimension along the top, which we'll call the length, is exactly the same as the dimension along the bottom there, which is also the length, which is also the same, or the, the dimension here, which is the, the width, is also the same as this dimension here, which is also the width. Okay, so what we have here is uh, a rectangle with a perimeter of 42 meters. So perhaps it would be fair to say that with the perimeter being 42 meters, got a little fella there and he runs all the way around this perimeter then effectively he will have run 42 equals the length plus this width plus this length plus this width. Now that gives us then the foundation of our first linear equation. So what we can do now is just basically tidy it up a little bit. And the way that we do that is we gather up the like terms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull together these two values, L, which are the two length values. And rather than having L plus L, I'm just going to write it as 2L. Similarly with the Ws, I'm going to gather those up. There's a W and there's a W. And I'm going to write it as 2w. So now I have my first equation which is 42 equals 2l plus 2w. Okay, so the other equation that I can generate from this information is the difference between the length and the width is 6 meters. So in other words, 6 meters equals the length take away the width. Okay, I hope that's okay. I've gone through that fairly quickly, but if you do stop the video, then hopefully you should be able to see how these two equations, this is equation one, and this is equation two, how those two equations have been derived. Okay, now the only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change them round the other way around, just because it's a little bit easier for me to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this so I have 2L plus 2W equals 42. And the other one is L minus W equals 6. Okay, so those are the two equations that I'm going to be working with. And like before, with simultaneous equations, the thing that you need to do is to find a way in which you can eliminate one of the terms, either the L terms or the W terms. 
that will then give you uh, one of the terms left and that will enable you to calculate it. So looking at these two equations, um, I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2. Now if I do that, it means I get a value of 2L and a value of 2W, one or the other of which I can then eliminate. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And I'm just going to put a note in the corner here that um, I'm going to multiply by 2 equation 1. Uh, sorry, big button, equation 2. So I'm going to leave equation 1 exactly the same. 2L plus 2W equals 42. And then with equation 2, I'm going to multiply each of the terms by 2. So L then will become. 2L minus W will become minus 2W and 6 will become 12. Now if you look at um, the other videos on solving simultaneous linear equations, um, you'll see that I haven't actually changed this equation at all. I've just simply multiplied it by 2. Um, and it just makes my life a little bit easier now because what I can do is I can add these terms together. And if I add these terms, to these two equations together, positive 2 added to negative 2 means that I will cancel it out. So I'm left then with two L's on that equation, that equation, and 42 and 12 on that equation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I can now say, well, 2L plus 2L is 4L. Positive 2w plus minus 2w is 0, and that equals 42 plus 12, which is um, 54. Okay, so the value of L, or 4 lots of L, is 54. And then, as I would normally deal with algebra, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide both sides by 4. 4L divided by 4 will give me L, and 54 divided by 4, I'm just going to do a very quick, um, short division in the corner here, just to give me a quick uh, note of my working, and also it's very good to show the examiner that you've um, taken a little bit of time to make sure that your arithmetic is correct. So 4 into 5 go 1, 1 left over, 13. Okay, so the value of L is 13.5. Okay, now just a couple of things really with this is that you'll notice that as I've been working down, I've been working straight down the page and like a lot of algebra, it's always good to work down the page and make sure that you keep everything in balance. We've got to a position now that we've worked out a value of L of 13.5. So in other words, this distance here is 13.5, and this distance here is also 13.5. Okay, what we can do is then take that value of L and put it into any one of the equations to work out the value of W. So if I put it into equation 2, it's probably a little bit easier. So I'm just going to put a note here for the examiner that I'm going to substitute. L equals 13.5 in equation 2. Okay, so the equation 2 is L minus W equals 6. So I'm going to substitute it in. L is 13.5 minus W equals 6. So what I'm going to do then is take 13.5 from both sides. So if I take 13.5 from both sides, minus 13.5 there, so it's a little bit like a, a number line if you like. What I have got is at the top here I've got positive 6, and then I'm going to come down 13 jumps, or 13 and a half jumps. 
And when I come down 13 and a half jumps, that's going to give me a value here of minus 7.5. So in other words, minus W equals minus 7.5. Okay, well if a minus W equals a minus number, then a positive double W will equal 7.5 positive. So the two values I've now got is L equals 13.5 and W equals 7.5. So this is my value of W up here, 7.5 and 7.5 there. Okay, so the final thing that you need to do is just to check your working to make sure that you've got the correct answer. Now it seems a little bit at the moment the board has got quite a lot of working out and it would be good uh, to write the proper answer at the side here. So when you're answering these sorts of exam questions, always make it very clear that you've shown your working, but also make it very clear that you've got an answer. So um, you could put something like length equals 13.5 meters width equals 7.5 meters and make it very clear to the examiner that uh, that's your answer and also make it very clear that you followed a route in order to calculate it and then I think it's very good practice also just as a final point to make sure that your answer is correct by just simply adding them up because if we add up 13 and a half 7 and a half 13 and a half and 7 and a half it should equal 42. Okay, so we'll do that. So I'm just going to do it at the side here, 13.5, 13.5, 7.5, and 7.5. And if we add all of those together, we should get 42 in total. So 13.5 plus 13.5 is 27. And 7.5 plus 7.5 is going to be 15. And 27 plus 15 is indeed 42. So it's just a quick check just to make sure that your calculations are right. This should give you full marks on a GCSE or equivalent exam paper. Um, hopefully that's been helpful to you. Uh, if you like what you've seen, please do subscribe or post or tweet or pin. Um, you can also add a comment below and I will do my level best to get back to you. Or you can visit mathsrap.co.uk and that will give you quite a lot of information as well. I will look forward to seeing you inside the next video.